Hey girls and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing all the high maintenance things I do to stay low maintenance. This video is literally for everyone. There's gonna be budget friendly options for everything that I run through today. So I recently did a video on how to look presentable and good every single day in under 20 minutes. And we went through the makeup, the hair, the outfit, literally everything you can do to look super clean and polished, but so quick. Because I feel like surely that's what we all want. We all wanna save time and just look good every single day. And I thought this video was kind of a spin off of that because I'm gonna talk you through all the individual things that I do to kind of upkeep myself so that it makes the day to day getting ready just so much quicker and convenient. I feel like these sort of videos for me are just super girly and chilled. So I'm in my pajamas again. They're nice pink pajamas, which I recently got from Primark and I love them. But yeah, I'm super excited to get into today's video and just help everyone step into their era of always looking good, showing up as their best selves, but just doing it in an effortless, easy way. So number one is nails. Some of these things are gonna be obvious, okay? But some things might get you thinking. So the first thing I do every single month is get my nails done. So here are my nails. And over the years, I've had all different style nails. I've had long, crazy nails. I've had short, square nails. I've had color ones. And I have truly learned that this sort of style is the best style to get. Once you go for this, you will never go back. And what I mean by that is having a pink powder base and then having a really light pink kind of milky color over the top. I I just go to my nail salon and ask for a pink powder and then I ask for the shade bubblegum over top and genuinely if I left it five weeks the nails would be falling off before the grow out looks bad that is how good this sort of style is it just works so well this sort of shape as well I think is really classy it's elegant it looks good shorter these look really nice as they grow out as well it's just the perfect shape color everything about this is just a high maintenance thing I do which is super low maintenance the rest of the month and what I love about it as well is you can adjust these nails on the season. So for Valentine's Day, I had a really cute little love heart put on them, but it still was super clean and fresh and easy when it grew out. I'm going to try and give you prices for all this sort of stuff. So for my nails personally, to get the infills is about £40 every single month. But if you're someone that is looking to do this on a budget, just go and buy yourself an at-home kit. So you could either do gels at home, get yourself the lamp and all the products, or just paint your nails once a week with a really good quality polish that doesn't chip too bad and just go for like a milky pink. Milky pink is the way forward. You're gonna love it once you start. At first I was like, oh, this is so boring. And then the more I got it done, I'm like, oh my God, this just makes sense. It just makes me feel just clean and I love it. And then the next thing kind of onto nails is getting my toes done. So again, it's an expensive thing to do, but it's super low maintenance. We do not want ugly, dusty, crusty feet. We don't want our toenails on the show. I just think toenails and feet as a whole just give me the ick a little bit. I feel like they do for a lot of people and having clean toenails like every time I look down and my nails look good I'm happy and your toes are a lot more forgiving than your hands because they don't grow as quick like I literally get my toes done every two to three months at most and they last but what I have learned in that time is when I go for like a bright color like a white or red or something like that when it starts growing out you do get that horrible growth and it doesn't look good so I opt for French on the toes now and I love it they look so good I've had them done literally six weeks or even eight weeks ago now I'm looking down and they still look great they still look great having that done is like 20 30 pounds depending where you go and it is definitely something worth investing in literally when you work it out it's under 10 pounds a month to have a great looking feet which I feel like especially now we're stepping into spring summer we need good looking feet okay <laughs> number two is something I always get asked about and that is my hair Okay, so I have tried it all with hair. I've had hair extensions, I've had professional dyeing done and spent like 300 pounds on getting it done. I've done all the box dyes at home, but the thing that I always, always go back to is this right here. This is the L'Oreal Casting Cream. I've been using this on and off since I was 15 years old, I'm pretty sure. Like I've been using this a really, really long time. This is an at-home box dye. Yes, hairdressers, I know you're not gonna approve, but I adore this product, guys. It's a semi-permanent 
doesn't ever truly leave your hair just to kind of let you know. It will always kind of have a little bit of a tinge, but it's perfect. If you're someone that has dark hair like me and you get really scared of your hair going too dark when you dye it at home, this is your best friend because it does look dark at first, but it fades beautifully. And I go for 500 medium brown. This is the best color. I mean, my hair is such a nice shade at the minute, in my opinion. I really love my hair color. It's like a glossy, chocolatey brown. This always leaves my hair so glossy, so rich. And I literally just dye the roots at the minute. So one of these is between like seven to 10 pounds. And if I was being really good, I would dye it every six to eight weeks. And it doesn't even take me long. Literally from start to finish, it's under half an hour and you're at home. So if you are someone that just has a simple hairstyle, maybe think about using these because they are so good. I adore them. I'll make sure to link as many of these products that I'm talking about, by the way, in the description box down below if you want to try them out. But this is my favourite, favourite, favourite at home box dye of all time. Like I said, I've been using this for well over 10 years now. Something else for your hair, which is a little high maintenance in terms of the price, but it's getting a hair mask treatment. So obviously the more expensive option would be to go to a salon and have a proper treatment done. And I have had that done before. I can't think what it's called, but I remember having some sort of gloss treatment done to my hair and it was not not cheap guys it was about 30 to 40 pounds this entire tub is 40 but you can get it for about 27 with the right discount codes this is the Chris Appleton and Carla Wow money mask it's nearly gone because I've been absolutely rinsing this and the texture of this mask is like no other now don't get me wrong your budget option is just using conditioner you can literally use your everyday conditioner as a mask just leave it on your hair all day like let's say you're at home all day make sure you just leave it on from morning until the evening and then wash it out and it'll kind of really deeply condition your hair but if you are looking to spend that little bit more money I would highly recommend this product I have been loving it every time I use this and I wash my hair and I dry it it's glossy it's shiny it just looks amazing and it feels so good you know sometimes there's products that are worth spending the money on and other times there aren't this is one of those products that really is truly worth spending the money on regularly conditioning your hair is kind of a high maintenance thing but it's just a pampering and beauty treatment ultimately and it's going to leave your hair looking great for days and days on end afterwards so it is so worth it in my opinion number four is brow lamination now brow lamination was something until recently I was extremely scared of because in my head I just thought it meant straight up brows and I do not like that look. I was just super scared of it turning out like that. I went to my lady who does my nails because she also does beauty and I was like right I want something natural but I want my brows to just look good every single day and yes guys I do have cheaper alternatives for this too because this treatment again is not the cheapest it's around 40 pounds to get it done and it lasts between four and six weeks so it's kind of expensive you have to pick the beauty treatments you want to spend the money on for me personally I choose nails and I choose brows they're the two things I currently pay out for whereas I do my own hair I do my own tan and I do my own everything else but there's certain things that I deem worth it and for me it's brows and nails currently um so the brow lamination i had i'll pop some clips on the screen but basically i just had my brows made full and then i had them tinted and every single day they look great i literally just comb them through i don't even need to do that they look amazing and my opinion before was always like brows don't take long to fill in like why would I spend money on having my brows done but the difference this has made to my appearance even on no makeup days is incredible feel like it's one of those things I wish I had discovered sooner because I love it and I can't see a time that I won't get this done but if you are not looking to spend that sort of money on your brows I do have some great alternatives for you so a product I've been using for years is this one right here and this is the Eyelore dye brow so I get mine in shade dark brown and and I've actually used this dark brown on my cousin who has blonde hair. You just don't leave it on as long. You can, of course, get the right color for yourself. And I think this is about seven pounds, up to 12 applications, super inexpensive, like so quick and easy to do at home. I've done this in vlogs before. This is such a great way of tinting your brows. Tinting your brows alone will just make them so much fuller and they'll look great. And if you're not looking to have them laminated and have the permanent kind of fuller brow look, then you can just use a pomade at home you can get a little like wax pot brow gel there's so many products on the market to help kind of slick your brows and make them look full and you know more fluffy so you can certainly achieve the brow lamination look by tinting your brows and just using a product when you're doing your makeup but honestly it changes the game with your appearance I can't remember what number we're on guys but the next one is going to be lash lift 
So I have not had this done in nearly a year and I've been holding out. I will be getting this done before I go away on holiday. But Lash LVL is incredible. Every time I have it done, I adore the look of my lashes. It basically tints your lashes and curls them up. Even if you're someone that doesn't have really full or long lashes, you will notice such a difference. It's around 30 pounds to get done. So it is that more expensive price point. And from experience, I'm not saying they're all like this, but I do find it to be something I have done just for special occasions because my lashes do go drier and kind of fall out and not look as good afterwards so I'm not really selling it am I but it's one of those things that is worth doing if you're going on holiday or something like that I love how it looks obviously people have lash extensions done which is another like high maintenance to stay low maintenance sort of thing but lash LVL I adore and I can't wait to get it done again soon next up we have fake tan Fake tan is something that I have done for longer than I care to remember. The amount of money I must have spent on fake tan, guys, I probably could have bought a car with. Like, honestly, I've spent so much money on fake tan over the years. And I have tried out so many fake tans on the market. In the market? In the market? On the market? In the market, I think. And my current favourite is this one. This is a bit expensive, but it's so good. So this is the U-Tan Turbo Self Tan Mousse Cherry Almond Scent. This is what the bottle looks like. I am in need of fake tanning, so please do not take my current state as a example of that product. But I have had a fair few comments lately asking me what tan I use. I think because my tan just looks deep and good, considering how pale I am naturally, and that is the tan I've been using. It's incredible, it's so good. The color is beautiful, it looks so natural. It goes dark, it goes olivey, actually takes on my chest and my belly, which a lot of to me just don't seem to take anywhere here just end up looking really pale that on the other hand is amazing so yeah you are paying a little bit for the product but it's still gonna last you a good probably two months when i am tanned i feel confident tan equals confidence for me there is nothing quite like fresh tan and you just feel so good. And then this product from U-Tan, I've been using this for a good two years at least. This is the U-Tan CBD Tanning Water. This is what it looks like. I'm a cereal person that doesn't have lids. I seem to lose all my lids for products. This is a product, I will just show you how it works. You just do every day or every few days. It smells amazing. This is a gradual tanning mist, so you can pop this on before bed and you will just wake up feeling that little bit more golden and bronzed. And it's actually not that high maintenance because it literally takes like three seconds to do. But when I think of high maintenance, I either think of things that take time or things that cost money. So that's why I think all these products definitely fall into this category. Next up, we're gonna talk about teeth whitening. Teeth whitening is something I have done for years and I have had my teeth professionally whitened before with at-home kits. So the one that I use is the Philips Zoom Night White and I've had that done once through the dentist, which is how I found out about it. So let me just caveat this point. If you're gonna whiten your teeth with, I can't think what they'll be called, like professional grade or strength products, you really should consult your dentist first because that Philips product is strong, okay? So I'm not gonna recommend to you to use that or the exact percentage because that is something you're gonna to have to kind of go to your dentist for. And you need a gum shield made with that and all sorts. It's quite a lengthy and expensive process. But I've had that done once five years ago. I did the course for, I think it's two weeks. And then I recently did that around six months ago. I actually didn't finish the course. I still need to use some of the product, but that's what I've used. And I'll probably do that every five years or so just to really lift and brighten my smile. But in between, whitening strips are great as well. These are like a blast from the past for me because I'm pretty sure this was a brand that sent me one of my first ever PR packages about six years or seven years ago. And these are the Beaconfield Whites premium teeth whitening strips. So this is what each packet looks like. I'm not gonna, no, I will open this one just to show you what it's like. These are super easy and inexpensive to do at home. So you basically have the top and the bottom strips and you can just pop these on your teeth so you don't need any gum shields made and you can whiten your teeth from the comfort of your own home. And these are easy to use, fast actioning, non peroxide and 30 minute whitening. So it's not the sort of thing that's necessarily gonna change your teeth from, you know, stains to bright white in a week, but this is 100% gonna give you a nice lift and pearly whites and just helps keep your smile fresh and looking good. So this is currently what I will be using for whitening my teeth going forwards because I don't fancy using anything really, really strong like the dentist ones. And like I say, this is super inexpensive and such a great alternative. Next, we're gonna talk skin. 
Looking after your skin in terms of your face and your body is super important to look good. It's great for your skin to keep it nice and hydrated and cleansed and exfoliated. And I could do a whole video on my skincare routine because there's so many steps to it. So I won't go through every single step right now, but I just want to talk about the essential things that I think are really game changing when it comes to your skin. This product right here is something that I have used on and off for a good couple years now. I think I've probably had five of these bottles. That's how much I've used this. And whenever I don't use it, I kind of forget about it. And then when I get it again, I'm like, oh my God, I can't forget this product. That is so good. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Now it says daily. I don't actually feel you need to use this every day. I think you could probably get away with using this a couple times a week at most, like two, three times a week. So this is what it looks like. And then you can just pop this on a little pad and wipe your face. And this for me just strips away the kind of top layer of skin. It does sting a little, but not anything painful. It's just, you know, you can feel it. And it just leaves my skin super, super fresh, soft, just perfectly prepped for applying makeup or my evening skincare. Honestly, when I have used this and I feel my face, I'm like, oh my God, my face feels like a baby's bum. It, honestly, this makes my skin feel so, so good. So I really couldn't recommend this enough. It's amazing. Another product that I recently have tried, and again, every time I pop this on my skin, oh my God, it just feels incredible. This is the Summer Fridays Rich Cushion Plumping Moisturizer. So this is what it looks like. Not that really explains anything to you, but it's such a nice product. I've been using this before bed and yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. And I do have sensitive skin and it's worked wonders for me. And the last high maintenance thing I do to stay low maintenance is just ensure that I have a great capsule wardrobe and I have great everyday pieces that I can pop together that look good. So for example, I love to invest in my basics now. I have a lot of Adenola leggings. They are expensive, I'm not gonna lie. They're like 40 pound a pair, which sounds crazy, but I've had a pair of Adenola leggings for two years. I wear them to death, right? They are still going strong. So yes, you spend a lot, but the cost per wear is nothing. They are the most flattering leggings I have ever worn in my life. I have got so many of my friends onto Adenola. They are incredible. No one will tell me otherwise that there is better leggings out there because they are are just the best Adenola leggings. I also love to get some nice jackets and nice shoes, like nice trainers, New Balances, or Ugg boots for when it's colder. I like to invest in my basics and just my everyday wardrobe stuff. The designer bags, yes, I do like investing in designer bags because I do think they make a look. Having said that though, there are plenty of non-designer bags which are so beautiful as well. You do not need to spend loads of money on a bag to have a cute bag, but I do think a cute bag, a nice pair of shoes, and a nice base outfit, you know, is high maintenance in the sense of like, you're someone that really cares about your look and your outfits, but it's so low maintenance day to day. And I talk about this more in my getting ready in 20 minutes video. So I'll link that down below for you guys. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to keep this little series going of just things that we can do as women to make ourselves feel good and productive and positive, and happy and looking good every single day, because I feel like we're going to shine and become our best selves. And just, yeah, you, when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And that is so true. And I don't care who does disagrees because I I think that's so true okay and that is what I live by and whenever I don't look good I feel like crap and I don't do well that day that's just the truth when I look good I feel more productive like today I've got up I've curled my hair I've done my makeup yes I'm in pajamas but I'm smashing through the work today I'm feeling good I'm randomly filming this video I didn't even plan to film it I just spontaneously thought right I'm gonna film this video because I'm feeling good today because I feel productive and guess what guys I'm not even well your girls run down not that I probably sounded but I am run down I don't feel great like this morning I had the hot sweats and I had a really sore throat and a headache and I still have those things but because I've made myself look presentable I feel good enough to get on with the day does that make sense so honestly never undermine the power of beauty and just how little things that you can do to stay you know maintained will just make you feel like a whole new woman I hope you took something from this video guys and enjoyed it also make sure to follow me on insta and tiktok there at hazeldex I post all the time if you're looking for fashion tips especially or just daily vlogs and stuff like that definitely follow me on there and I look forward to seeing you really soon also subscribe if you haven't already Mwah. bye guys